Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this colorful multi-layers pendant. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. And you need only seed beads to make it and a bale. So if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. I post usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. You could also help me by liking, sharing and commenting and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social network where, by the way, you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, especially on my Facebook and Instagram pages. And you could also check description for link to my my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips. I want to remind you that you could always skip the intro and the list of materials of all my tutorials because now I have chapters. So now guys I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are six colors of 11 oz seed beads you could use 10 oz seed beads instead but all the beads should be from one size and you could use different color patterns whatever you like this is what i chose and uh, this is a bale here because i'm making a pendant if you're making earrings of course you will put earring findings this is nylon thread the brand is nemo and uh, this is size 10 beading needle scissors and pliers that I use to attach my bale to my work. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and in my first step I'm going to pick up eight of these beautiful pink beads. Okay, and I have eight of them and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread i will stick my needle in my mat and here what i want to do is make a knot and i'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice with my tail thread through this loop i've made and i pull and then i will make one more knot and pull again okay so now I will go through some beads in this direction and pull tight and now guys this is what I have and in my next step I'm going to pick up three black beads and as I'm exiting here through this pink bead I'm going back in circle through the same pink. Okay. Now I have this. You see I have here loop between my beads. Then in my next step guys I skip one bead and I go through the following. So just go through two pink beads. Okay and as you're here repeat what you did before. Take three beads, three black beads and go back in circle through this one just like this and then go through the following pink okay now take three more black beads okay three and i'm going back through this pink And through the following and then in the next one okay then one more time so now guys I have this and what I want to do next 
is go here through the pink and through the next black bead. And as I'm exiting here, guys, I'm going to pick up five red beads. Okay, and I have my five. And as I'm exiting through this black bead, I'm skipping the one that's sticking out the most. And I'm going through the following black. And pull. So now I have this. And now I will repeat the same thing. I pick up five red beads. Five. Skip the one that's sticking out the most and go through the next two black beads. Again, then I'll repeat this two more times. Okay guys, now I have this and what I want to do is go through all of those red beads in this direction, through all of the five. And now as I'm here, what I want to pick up are three red beads. And then I go here in the next five, through all of the next five beads. Then I will continue these three more times. Okay guys, and here I am where I added my last three beads from this row. And now I, what I want to do is go here through the bead that's sticking out the most, which is the central of the five beads that I added here. So I'm going through this bead, here I have two and here I have two. And what I want to take is one black bead, five orange beads and one black. You see, this is what I have here on my needle. And as I'm exiting through this red one, I will go back in circle through the same red. Now I have this. Now guys, what I want to do is exit through the center one of, the, of these three beads that I added in my previous row. In order to do this, I'm going at this step through four beads. Okay, going through four beads. And I'm going to take one black, five orange beads, and one black bead. Okay, this is what I have, the same thing that I took here. Okay, and here what I want to do is go through four beads again. And I'm going to pick up a black one, five orange beads and a black one okay again this one this sequence and i go back here then what i do is that i go again through four beads and i take the same thing a black five orange beads and a black one. Okay, 
and I go back in circle through this red one. Okay, then what I do next is that I go through four beads again. Okay. And guys, I will repeat this until the end of this row. Uh, if you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind this video. But basically what I do is black five oranges, black go through four, black five oranges, black go through four. Okay, and I'll meet you in a while. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding this last sequence here. And what I want to do is go in this direction through all of those newly added beads, through all of them. Okay, now what I want to do is flip my work. This is because it's easier for me to work in this direction. It's not obligatory, but as I'm right handed, I usually do this. And now as I'm exiting here through this orange bead, I take one more orange and I go here in the next orange. And I pull. Then I will go through all of those orange beads in this direction. Just like this. And I'm picking up one orange and again I'm going through the next orange beads in this direction. Okay, so this is what basically I will do here at this row. I'm going to be adding one orange in between those orange beads here that are already there. And in this way, I will make a new thread pad and make these orange beads look smoother and closer to my work. Okay, I think you got the idea. I will finish this off camera and I'll meet you here. Hey okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last orange beads to this row. And what I want to do is exit one, two, three beads after that. So now I'm exiting through the bead that's sticking out the most, which is the central of my five beads that I added here. And what I want to take now is one black, five yellow beads, and one black bead. Okay. So this is what I have on my needle and as I'm exiting here I'm going back in circle just like this. Now I have this. This time what I want to do is go through three orange beads just like that. And here I'm adding a black, a yellow in a black. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going back in circle through the same bit that I'm exiting out of in circle. Okay. Then I go three beats away from here. In my previous row I was going four beats away and making the element. Now I'm going three beats away and I'm making an element. Now again I will repeat this element here. I'm taking a black one, five yellows and a black. Okay and I'm going back in circle through this orange. So now I have similar element. Now I go through three beads and I add a black, a yellow and a black and I go back in circle through this orange just like this. 
Then again, from here on, I go through three beads. Now, first I went through two, and then I will go through one more. Sometimes I can go in one movement through all of those, but not always. So now, what I want to take is one black, one, two, three, four, five yellows, and one black. Okay. And I go back through this orange. Then again, I go through three. And here I repeat the smaller element, which consists of black, yellow, and black. And I go back. Okay, I think you got the idea. You alternate a big and a small element and you go three beats away from where you are. And when you finish this row, I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and now I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last three beats from this row. And I'm going to show you what's coming up next. Okay, I will go in this direction through this black one. And my goal is to exit out of this yellow one. Okay. Then I will flip my work again because it's easier for me. And I'm going to pick up one yellow bead. And I will go through those yellows here. Then I go through all of those yellow beads. And I take one yellow and go here through this central yellow bead. Then again, a yellow. Okay, and I will continue this adding yellow beads everywhere until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and when I continue this, here I am where I'm adding my last yellow bead from this row. And what I want to do is go here in this direction and reach this yellow bead that's sticking out the most. Okay. I'm exiting here at the top. And what I want to take are five of these beautiful pink beads. Okay, I have my five here. And I'm going back in circle through this yellow bead. Okay, so now I have this. Then what I do in my next step is that I go through two beads in this direction. And I want to take a black, a green, a black, a green, and a black one. This is what I have. And as I'm exiting here, I'm skipping the next one, two, three beads and go again through three. Okay. Okay, now I want to take five of these pink beads. Okay, I have my five pink beads here. And I'm going back through this yellow. Okay, now I go through two beads. And here, what I want to take is a black a green, a black, a green, and a black. Okay, this is what I have. And I skip three beads and I go here through three more. Okay. Then I repeat the same thing. I take five pink beads. Okay, five. 
I go back through this yellow, then I go through two beads and I take the same sequence, a black, a green, a black, a green and a black. Okay, I skip one, two, three beads and I go through three yellows after that. Okay, and now again five pink beads. Go through two, add this sequence here, skipping three, then go through three and add this sequence. Okay, and continue this until the end of this row. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and you'll see. Okay guys, and these are the last beads that I'm adding in this row. I'm adding them the same way. I'm skipping three beads and I'm going in this direction. Okay, now in my next step, what I'm going to do is go through all of those beads. Okay, and my goal guys is to exit here between those two last pink beads or one bead away one pink bead away from this yellow edge here and I'm going to take one pink bead and one black bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle and I'm going through this green. Okay, now what I want to take are three green beads skipping the black and going through the other green okay and i have this and now i take one black and one pink now the opposite and i go between those two pinks that are from this side of my work then i go through two more pinks and i'm here at the same place and now I take a pink and a black, first pink and then black. Okay, and I go here through this green. Then I take three green beads. Okay, and I skip the black and go through the following green. Okay. Then I take the opposite one. I take a black and a pink and I go in the same place between those two pink beads that are from this side of my work. Okay, then I go to be through two more pinks and I'm in the same position between those two side pink beads. And what I want to take is a pink and a black and I go here through this green one and I take three green beads through the other green and now I take first black and then pink and I go here. Okay guys and I will continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last two seed beads from this row. And what you could do is go around the edges and reinforce your work one more time. But now I'm going to show you how to attach your pendant here. But now I'm going to show you how to attach your bail here. I will make a loop of beads where the bail will be attached and now I'm going to take five black beads. Okay, I have five and I'm going back through this pink one here in circle. Just like this and now I'm going to reinforce my work.
Okay, do this as many times as you can. Okay guys, and now what I want to do is find a place to make a knot. Okay, and when I find the place, I make here a loop between two beads and I go once, then I go second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. I pull, then I could go and repeat this knot several more times when I'm ready. I'm going through the following seed bead and I'm cutting my thread. Now what I want to do is take my bail and open this one up. Okay, then I will put it here on my work and I will squeeze back with my pliers. Okay. And now guys, my pendant is ready.